All right, let's talk about the population of California. From 1990 to 2010, of course, the population of California increased. It increased from 29,760,021 to 37,253,956. The question posed to us is how many more people lived in California in 2010 as opposed to 1990? What, what is the problem looking for? In, in your own words, maybe words make more sense to you, what are we trying to find here? How much did it increase? How much did it increase? What's the difference? Right? When you're trying to find an increase, we are looking for a difference, right? And when we say difference, that means what mathematical operation? Subtraction. Talking about subtraction. So how would you set this up? Right, so you're saying from 37,253,956 minus 29,760,021. I want to find that actual difference, right? But before we do that, because I want to make sure that we are heading in the right direction, if we use front end rounding, where will we end up? Front end rounding, if I round to the nearest 10 million here, what do you get? 40. So that's about 40 million minus what? 30. So that's going to give me 30 million. So my estimate should be about what? Should be about 10 million. Now I'm going to tell you right now, this is the way the book wants you to do front end rounding. And this is how you do front end rounding. I don't have a problem with that. What I have a problem with is, this is not how I would round. I usually round to a number where I don't lose a lot of information. If I'm doing it my way, this is front end rounding. I like to have a little bit more accurate of an estimate. And I know an estimate is just that. It's an estimate. It's not supposed to be exact. But this is what I would do. I wouldn't round this number to 40 million. I would probably round it to what? What do you think? I'd probably round it to 37 million, right? If I round to the nearest million, it's 37 as opposed to 38, right? So this is about 37 million minus what? If I round this to the nearest million as well, what do I get? 30 million. Yeah, it's still 30 million. So this, please understand, this is not front end rounding that I'm doing right here. If I do this, what is my estimation? From 37 million to 30 million is about what? Seven million. Seven million. Oh, sorry about that. So that's, that's my estimate. Front end rounding would say 10 million. If we round a little bit differently, it's something that makes a little more sense where we don't lose as much information. It should be about 7 million. So let's see what the exact answer is. And I'm sure some of you have already jumped to that because you are impatient. But that's OK. I was that way when I was your age, too. All right, so let's do the subtraction. This is going to be fun, right? I think some of you are already out of breath, which concerns me. So let's do the subtraction. 6 minus 1 is 5. 5 minus 2 is 3. The nine, oh, I don't even have to borrow. This is easy, right? 3 and the spoke too soon. So I borrow from this guy. Borrow 10 to make this 15. So 15 minus 6 is 9. I can't do 1 minus 7, so I've got to borrow again. Make this guy a 6 to turn this into an 11. And I get 4. Can't do 6 minus 9, so borrow to make this a 16. 16 minus 9 is 7. seven. This is the exact answer. Do you agree? Yeah. Now, front end rounding said the estimate should be 10 million. When I rounded my way, I got 7 million. 
So when I rounded my way, so I didn't, I didn't want to lose as much information as front end rounding will do, I had an estimate that was a lot closer to the actual amount. Right? But watch for this. If you're practicing prob problems at interactmath.com or in the textbook, if it says use front end rounding, what should you use? Front end rounding. Otherwise, your rounding won't match up. And you'll see problems like this on the final exam. It'll say, using front end rounding, estimate this answer. So you have to be very careful about that.